I can hear you. Good morning. Yes, I yes, I can hear you. Did you look at the market this morning? Yes. And what are you in now of the trades that I called? I have just one of the one that you called. Amazon. Uh, you have only one Amazon. Oh no, sorry, no, no, I do. I have I have Amazon. I have two contracts in Amazon and I have one I have one of the calls in the spy that you called six contracts. So you retook that. You killed it. You retook it. What day did you retake it? Yeah, I did. I Okay, I that's fine. That's fine. You shouldn't have killed it, but I'm glad you retook it. <laughs> All right, let's go over to Amazon. Did you figure out what these are going to be worth? Oh, no. You know me. I don't like to count my chickens before the hatch. Instead of winning. <laughs> no, no, I don't think about losing. I do you do. About... You spend more time thinking about losing than winning. You should be sitting there with your calculator this morning and pulling up the option chain from yesterday and trying to figure out when these drop 100 <laughs> points what you're up. I can tell you because I already figured it out myself this morning. You're yeah, gonna... I can imagine. I bet you have. But I mean, <laughs> I look at it on the worst case scenario side. I'm not that hoping for That is so negative. That's so negative. Why are you looking at worst no, case it's scenario? Not. It's not. I used to look at things where you'd be making so much money if it went to the moon. But that's not the way to think. No, either. that's not the way to think on every train. But every once in a while, I say, boom. And this was one of those ones. And the market, too. You just killed it. You killed it. And you just killed it of your own volition. But anyways, no, this. No, no, no. I changed the positions. I have take, retaken them, but with longer time. I have another week. I have, You're not going to need it. Several. It's fine. It's I okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You're not going to need it. Anyways, let's look at Amazon. If I figured this out this morning, and this is why I wanted to ask you just really quickly because then I got to go to the gym. I want to know what you're going to do with this. If this drops 100 points through the strike, now I don't know if you have the 1300s or the 1250s, one contract will be worth more than 10 grand in this. One contract will be worth more than 10 grand. So what are you going to do so you don't screw this up? Uh, um... Well, I had two contracts added to it yesterday. Uh, okay, so, so you have, you have so, two. That's I mean, that's good. I could I could just cut it in two and take one contract off. But I mean, obviously, depending on where you think, in, in a realistic figure, then if you think that's a realistic figure to take the whole thing off, then yeah, I'd take the whole thing off. The, this is this is the one you have out to the thirteenth of the sixth, because there was two I, I called in this. Uh, I have the 1250s out okay, to the 13. All right. So you tell me what you're going to do, and you're going to write it in blood, and then you're going to do it. What are you going to do with this? Where are you getting out? Um, um, where, well. You have I mean, two hours to decide because before this market opens today, you need to know what you're doing with these trades. And this is one of your biggest problems. You change your mind, change your mind, change your mind, change your mind. And then you get upset if it keeps going. You got out too early or if you kill it and it goes. You, I mean, I'm serious here. This could be a huge trade. I'm not telling you to hold it, but I'm saying either way, either way, this is a good trade. But you really seriously need to know before the market opens because if you don't decide before the market opens, you're going to make a willy-nilly choice. You look at the daily chart. You look at the daily chart, and nothing has changed in the daily chart since I've called the first trade. That's why I have no idea why people just kill these trades, because nothing changed. Nothing changed in the market, and nothing changed with this, and every day it looks better. So you need to know right now, look at the daily chart, and tell me where you're getting out of this trade. Well, it looks like the support around 1337 with that gap. That happened on the 23rd of January. So I would imagine the might mind you, I mean, we're not far away from that now, so it will probably take that out. And then you could be looking at 1327. But in realistic terms, since I listen to you, where would you say that that was going to? Not every trade is created equal. Some of these, some of these trades no. you take with profits, and some of them, when you gotta, you gotta, you gotta listen to what I say. This is one of the ones that would be okay to hold a bigger target, and so would have been the market. Now you got back in the market. I'm glad. Okay. So, but it doesn't mean you're not gonna get possibly whipsawed around from the time I call the trade till it goes, because, like I said in the room the other day. If I see a trade, I'm going to call it because when I see it's going to happen, 
I don't know if it's gonna happen in five minutes or five days. So if I don't call it when I see it, then you could miss it. So this is what it is, I'm seeing them. So you got it. this is just, it is just what it is. I'm just seeing them early, but there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes I see it and then it just drops on the day like, like excuse me, like Facebook. So you gotta take the trades when I call them. That's why you just can't risk more than you're willing to lose in the entire trade. Although I don't have a problem with you killing at a half a loss, that really hasn't been working because they've all been going. So, I mean, it's just the volatility in the market, but at least you retook it. But if you want to have a big trade, this is the one you could, you could have a big trade. So I'm asking you, you really want to get out of it at 1337? <clears throat> do I want to? No, I don't. So where do you want to get out of the trade? No, I'm not considering the time that I have. I have until the 13th. You got, that is that. like a year in this stock. Let me just tell you, a year. So where are you going to get out of this? I don't understand what you mean I've got a year. I mean, I, I've got I'm a contract saying, that runs out on the 13th. I know. That, that again, you said that last week. And do you see if you would have held that market trade you were all worried about Monday? It, look, today is the 4th. The expiration you, date was the 6th. Yes, but you have, to, you have to cut things. I mean, I lost 60% of the trade the other week. So I, I know, gave it. But it's I the gave it enough room. The volatility so you have to in say the market. Somewhere the, is put off. Otherwise, you're, you're looking at. No, you're risking too Are much you? in the trades. You're risking too much of the trades then if you felt you needed to do that. I'm telling you, the market is so volatile right now. In normal circumstances, yes. But the way that things are, don't you understand? This is why these trades are going to go so big Because when you got them in the right direction, which, by the way, I'm telling you what to do because so many people are doing the opposite. That's what makes this such a crazy market. Yes, yes, yes it is. But you also have to consider that there are big swings in this Downward. That's why you take a certain Downward amount of money, five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. You risk it, and that's it. You're not going to lose more than you put up. So well, you yes, know. I mean, I was down a thousand dollars in Amazon yesterday with the two positions that I had on, but it still didn't. I, it, when you looked at the daily bar, on all of them, mm -hmm. they all hadn't made significant moves in the opposite direction to sort of counterbalance that move that you're saying is happening. So I didn't touch it. I left you're it. You're not doing the things that I taught you. And I can't talk for long today. I really do have to go to the gym. But you're not doing the things I taught you. How do you think I saw this would happen? How did you think that I saw this would happen? Would you just say to me, Melissa, oh, my gosh, the stuff, this you gap looked, stuff works. You looked at the gap. The, mm -hmm. the gap that's, I mean, uh, Amazon's a classic. Mm -hmm. The gap that happened, it pulled back up to the gap and it held that gap. It didn't close that gap. And then it's fallen away again. Yes, I can see that your position. I can see many ways of looking at this from different angles. And you compile everything together to give you more conviction that it is going in the direction that you want. You don't need any more conviction than just reading the gap, which was not the second day. But either way, where are you getting out of this? Oh, dear. Um, oh my God, yeah, you're, you're going to, oh my gosh. It, yeah, it is, <laughs> oh my gosh. When you are up, yes, you are right. When you are up, it can be more problematic than when you are down. That is really so can. crazy. Now, just listen to yourself. That is yes, so I crazy. am listening to myself. That is so crazy. <laughs> You're like, I have a problem when I'm up, but I, I, I have a bigger problem when I'm up when I'm down. That is so crazy. Listen to yourself. It is listen. because we all take losses, don't we? It's very easy to say we will take the loss. We will take fifty percent loss. You are not focused on the right thing that you want to create, which I'm not going to go off on a tangent now, but that's why we had the wealth well, class am. on Monday. I am. I am. I want to create. What do you mean? You're focused it. on the losses in this trade that's going to work out right now this morning. I'm focusing <laughs> on the winning side. I am focusing okay, on the winning side. Okay, then where are you going to get out of this trade? Where? Tell me. Oh, boy. Um, Hurry. I got to get going. You got one yeah, minute. Where yeah, are you getting I mean, out of it? Yeah, I mean, oh, I mean, the my. strike. What is it? 12.50, the strike. Mm -hmm. I mean... <laughs> If it went down to the strike, I mean, it's truth. That would be a nice figure, wouldn't it? Um, I mean, failing that, if it went through the strike, you could be looking at 12.17, couldn't you? So where are you going to get out of it? But I know you don't like talking about this, but time also has an influencing factor, doesn't it, here? That is absolutely true, but you're missing the boat when... When selling action comes in, which is the case in this, or buying action, which is not the case in this, but other times, it, it can happen in an instant. And that's the amazing thing about the market. So I'll, while you're true about that, if the trade wasn't going in your right direction, which by the way it is, okay, then you'd have a concern. Or if you were on the day or the very last day or the day before, but you're not. And even still, the people that are the ones for the six, 
I mean, they got they got one more day and look at this, look at the way that this looks. So, I mean, either even still, you 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 can't you're like putting all your eggs in one basket. You're saying I'm making this decision because of this. No, make the decision based on the chart. It's never going to lead you in the wrong direction if you're reading it like I do. But unfortunately, you've been doing other things. But the chart is going to tell you everything you know. It's going to point you in the right direction. Where are you going to get so out what, of this tree? So what, what am I missing then to fill it in? You're not what listening to missing? me. That's well, the key number one mistake you're making. You don't listen to me. To and I'm trying you know, to help you know. For the last you know. five years, I have been listening to you. Well, you don't do it. So listening to me and doing is a different story. At least you retook the market trade that he killed. All right, where are you going to get out of this trade? I would love to see you make 10 grand on one of these contracts, which would be 20 grand in two contracts. I would love to see that happen for you. Do you think you can yeah, do I mean, it? if this fell in an instant, yes, I would cut. No, it's, it may not fall in an instant. It may not. It may not. It might. It might. But it might not. What well, are you going to do? If both fell and I was up 20 grand, yes, I would Okay, here's it. what I want you to do, and then I really got to go. How much money did you risk in these two trades? What's the total amount if they all go bust? How much do you have on on the table? You mean in Amazon alone? Yes. Two thousand dollars. I say you write it out. You write it out. You write it out. Full or high, come hell or high water, you're gonna ride this puppy out. You're gonna make this a big trade for yourself. The worst thing that can happen is you lose two grand. You put the money on, and you shouldn't put it on if you couldn't risk it. If you lose it, you lose it. If you if it wins out, you're gonna make more than twenty grand. Do you think you have the guts to do it? Oh, absolutely. I want to put it on. Okay, okay. That. then that's your goal. That's your goal. When this thing starts running and those numbers start getting close to that, that's close what I think to what? Is close to that uh, dropping through. Because once this, don't you see, once this starts to collapse through the bottom of the earth, it, it's going to go 100, 150, 200 points. It, like, like, it's going to happen so quick. Don't you see? I can see it falling, but I'm looking for numbers. I'm looking for targets. I'm I know, for but what I can give seeing. you the targets, but then you'll 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 hold it to that exact number, and I don't want you to do that. I want you to take it out, <laughs> I, I, and then you'll say, "Oh, it got within five cents and didn't quite get there, so I didn't take it out, even though it was up twenty-two grand." No, because you're too you're too exact. Yeah, targets are moment, areas. When huh? you see twenty-two grand. I would take it. I'm when telling you that if this from the top, goes, top of 50, you know, or a dollar, you know. This is just, just like you said, you were down a thousand dollars yesterday. As soon as this opens today, and as soon as it starts running red, if it happens in the first 30 minutes, that whatever that was worth yesterday for you into the close at the loss is gonna, it's gonna just go like a banshee and be up because once the momentum starts to go in the direction of it. Even on the next live day, then all of a sudden you're up this huge amount. These are wild, but that's how you can make 10 grand in one contract, which you haven't oh, ever yes. made. So give yourself the chance to take it. Two grand, you can afford. You can afford it. Hold it out. This is going to be a great trade for you if you can hold it. So hold it out. So I'm holding it out for the number for 20 grand. That's what I'm, you're saying. I, I'm saying. I'm saying that I think it's going to be worth that. And it could be worth more. But if that's enough for you... I think you should you should get out of it there. You've got more than a week. This, I mean, I call this market so great. It's just phenomenal. Let's just quick look at the market here. Yeah, the, the queues are looking a bit more healthy. It might you say it now. I mean, the SPY is well down on yesterday. I mean, it's very much a bearish pattern now. Yeah. Twelve. So I don't know exactly if we if we rock and roll today, but if we don't rock and roll today, we're going to rock and roll tomorrow. I mean, we're going to have a drop. We're gonna have a drop, so we we we're gapping down, so we could have the drop through today and the gap down. I, it's just even too early to even tell. It's two hours before the open, but I'm saying that this is this is going in the right direction. It's like a tippy toe. It's like tippy yes. toe, tippy toe, tippy toe. Woo! And you fall off a cliff, and that's okay. Not everything just falls right off a cliff. Sometimes it's tippy toe, tippy toe, and the tippy toes are making it fall off a cliff because people are buying. People bought the yes. market yesterday. <laughs> Down yes, they morning. did. It's crazy. And I mean, I intended Amazon. taking out. Huh? I intended taking out the the spider call that you made today. Do you have more than one? Through. Do you have more than one? Um, well, right. I, I have some for the thirteenth as well. Okay, all right. You're gonna do yeah, it. Take out the but one I have, for the sixth. But I have six want. out in you know in each. So I, I was intending taking the six out that you called today when it breaks through. All right, just try. We'll just see how this acts then into the open. Because I mean, if you're going to get out of these today, you want to get out in a flush down. 
I'm not going to get that. I'm going to get out the ones that you call for this week because I mean it's Wednesday, so we will be getting that. I know, um, but if you're going to get out of the t- time, yes, but try to wait for a flush down today to exit them. Don't exit them into a rally. Exit them no, into a sell-off. No, no. I mean, I will give it more time today. I mean, yes, until the close of today. Well, you don't have to wait to the close. If we get a flush in the morning, take it. If we get a flush in at noon, take it. All right, I'm yes. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. But I, you really, this is first of all, you do think to the negative side too often, which I told you before. Number one, and number two, I want to see if you have a big trade with this. I'm glad you didn't risk more than two grand. You can lose two grand if it doesn't work out. You got to hold this trade. I think it's gonna be a big trade. And even if you end up having to hold it next week, don't sweat a bill. It's two grand, and that's what you how you need to look at with your risk. You're looking at this. You're saying, I'm in this one. I'm in this one. I'm in this one. I'm in this one. It has nothing to do with the fact of this chart here, and this is gonna be a big trade. Now I've been taking your advice on. I've been holding them when I, you know, when I Not thought a, you don't have to hold thing. every one though. First of all, you didn't hold the market; you killed it. But anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm telling you, this one is a different, special one, and it's a special one because it has never had a drop like it's going to have. And when it does, it's going to look like it died. So you got to be in it. Right. I will hold it. Thank okay. You. All right. I'm gonna. I'll see you in the room. Good luck. Yes. Okay. You too. Thanks. Okay, bye. 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 bye.